righty, here we go. So, welcome to the Imagine Knowledge Podcast. Are we starting right now? Yes. There you go. All right. This is your co the host, the main guy. I am the guy. He's the guy. My name's Alexis, aka Imagine Knowledge. <laughs> and I'm John. Talking, and he's John over here. <laughs> John with a V. John with a V at the end. Yeah. John V. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, all right. So, last time we talked <clears throat> about the Kabbalion, we started talking about the law of mentalism, and we broke it down, I think, pretty down to the details, kind of. It's cool as fuck. And today, after the first law has been talked about, we're going to start talking about the next laws. Hopefully, we get through all the laws this time. Probably won't, but we'll try. Who knows? Who knows? I'm kind of God, but not to that level, okay? No. <laughs> Maybe. You never know. Not on that level just yet. Levels. I'm not hurting. Levels. Levels to this game. All right, so. All right. What is the, what is the, the second principle, The Alexis? second principle is the law or principle of correspondence. Now, what does that mean? Now, first, we're going to break down the word correspondence. What does that mean, right? What does that mean to me? Just in general, <clears throat> we have the word co-respondence. So, respondence means a response, okay? Co means... Together, right? Hey, hey big brain, big let's brain. go. <laughs> so, correspondence mm -hmm. in that manner means that there's two responses that have to do with each other. Right. They have a correlation, you know, which means they're related. Right. So, for example, as above, so below is one of the sayings that comes with correspondence, which means that what's below responds to what's above, yeah. and what's above responds to what's below. You know, you can't separate them. Right. And then there's other levels to that experience. What does that mean to you, though? Which one? The levels of, or the correspondence aspect. Okay, we'll start with as above, so below. What does that mean to you? Well, if we're talking about the mind, because that's what the mind is, the law of mentalism, mm -hmm. you know? So, we're, as above, so below, it's mainly, as well, I don't really know what that means in that aspect. Okay. But what they mean from, from what I've listened to and stuff, mm -hmm. they mainly take as above, so below, and as within, so without. Right. So, it's easier for me to talk about that one, as within, so without. Yeah. Because they're talking about as within your mind, so your world outside of you would be, you know? And it's mainly perception. I was going to say the same thing, basically. Yeah. Just uh, It's I, much easier to yeah. put in that aspect, because as opposed to below, it's like, what are we saying? Right. You know? In my mind, I'm just thinking the same shit. Because, like, you know, I was thinking of, like, being sick earlier. You feel me? Like, it's not always true. It's not always like this. But if your mind is, like, despondent, if you're bothered, you know, it's there's shit weighing heavy on your conscience, you're not doing shit right, you just feel sluggish, you're going to feel, like, less energy, you're going to feel fatigued, and it's more likely for you to get kind of, like, sick or some shit. But if you kind of, like, uh, are just, if your mind is just always on the go, always sharpened, always like, yo, I need to get better, yo, I need, this needs to, I need to do something today, take right. an inch, a step forward somehow, then uh, it's not that you're less likely to get sick, but you're more, you're more, up moving around and shit like me i can only say this to me because i barely got sick anytime this year and right. i've been fucking hustling this whole fucking like year yeah, two I, jobs I constantly you know? Sick you know what i'm saying and i think i don't know what it is that we're doing but I, it's either the fact that we have a strong mind which a comp, a, a, accounts towards our strong body is what i'm gonna say or um Either that or we're just fucking G. Like, we're just cool as shit. Like, for sickness has part. nothing on us, bro. Fuck sickness. Yeah, for the most okay, part, I'm like, I like to take care of my body. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So I take all these vitamins, minerals, probiotics, all this stuff yeah. to make sure that I am healthy. You know, so I'll blame it on that. But I'm kind of health conscious on that aspect. Yeah. Stop drinking soda, too. That's good. Yeah, I don't drink soda. I drink soda, but I don't drink sugary soda. I drink soda that has no sugar. Sevia. Nice. Stevia Check is the soda I drink. That's just delicious. At first, it tastes kind of gross, mm -hmm. and then you get used to it, and you're like addiction. Sparkling water, basically. Trader Joe's, bro. Trader Joe's has some of the best fucking sparkling water that yeah. I've tasted and so far. And you can get sparkling water that's flavored. Yeah. Yep. Delicious. So, but as above, so below. Mm -hmm. You know. So as within, so without. As your thoughts, your reality will be. Mainly like, right. like when you bought your car, right? 
and then you started seeing all the TVs everywhere. You know? Or did that not happen? Oh, the tibbies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tibbies everywhere. Yeah, I did, actually. Like, as soon as you got your car, yeah. you're like, damn, everybody around me had a TV. Kind of. I just see it more or often. You see it often, yeah. yeah. It's the same thing with my car. I would have never noticed anybody having the car until mm-hmm. I have it. Until you have it. It's, like, it's like, hey, only because <laughs> it's in your mind. Right. So now you get to see it outside of your mind. And it's the same thing with everything else, you know? So if in your mind, you, you like, you identify with particular aspects of yourself mm-hmm. you're gonna see that in others as well yeah so if you see yourself as a broke motherfucker you're only gonna see broke motherfuckers out there you know yeah if you see yourself if you, as a sick kind you're gonna see a bunch of ripped motherfuckers right. everywhere <laughs> or, you're, or you're more likely to put yourself around those people you know? right and it always works like that it does because yeah. uh, isn't that the law of attraction kind of too doesn't that coincide with the law of attraction? Like a little bit, yeah. A little bit. We'll, we'll talk more about that later. All That's the cool. laws work together, but the law of attraction is really misunderstood because people just use it as like, you think about certain thoughts and you attract the people. Well, right? no, if you, if, bullshit, it's kind of like if you manifest. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Anyway, uh, correspondence as above, so below, which is interesting. We both uh, discussed how we think it is, right? But what is the actual definition? Have we discussed the actual definition? Not necessarily. So what is the actual definition for our viewers? Uh, I don't know, actually. Well, fuck. Well, we'll get fuck. We'll get it to you in a second. <laughs> it's really just as above, so below. And then it explains many planes of existence, including those of the lower and higher vibrational frequencies and how they're connected. That's good. So planes, levels of frequencies that correlate to those planes, like right. some planes that vibrate on a frequency higher. Is right, it right. higher? They vibrate higher, so they are higher, and lower right. frequencies, they do lower, obviously, you would think. Right. Um, like, the lowest plane is the physical plane. Right, which is what we're on, correct? Right. We're all, we're on all three. We're always on the physical, mental, and spiritual. Right, 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 because of our mind. Right. Okay. And, our, and our, the spirit is the all-engulfing of the life. It's not like as the yeah. spiritual as in the hidden spirit within you, mm-hmm. but spiritual as in the unification of your acknowledgement that you're part of the universe. Mm, that's beautiful. You I know? could not have put that any better. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Let's get a round of applause for that one. That was fucking beautiful. So, anyway. like, so we're here physically, mm. and then we're there mentally. Yes, sir. And we're there spiritually. We do our best. So it's first, second, and third perspectives. Hey, chill out, bro. What's my Siri, name? shut up! <laughs> There you go. She shut up. Yeah. But <laughs> that's cool. So we're here physically. Weird. We're yes. here physically, and our physical behavior are characterized by our mental thoughts. You know, and our mental thoughts are characterized by our pursuit of our purpose. You know, mm-hmm. and our purpose being what you're gonna do with your life. So once you acquire the the purpose that you want to pursue. Therefore, your mind will go towards those particular thoughts that revolve that purpose, and your behavior will change because now you're in pursuit of that purpose. Therefore, your thoughts have changed, and therefore your behavior will change. Right. And that's crazy. And that's the that's correspondence between all those realms. Right. You know, but some people like making it really mystical, which makes it like cloudy so? and unclear because they make it seem like it's magic. You know. Like, you think particular thoughts and you attract particular things into your life. Magic. No, you know, but it's like, that works. It's but. like, it does work like that, but you right. don't just have to think shit. You have to think and act. Yeah, put an effort. Thinking without act is just, you're you know, just it's just daydreaming. Thoughts. It's yeah, daydreaming. It's just thoughts, yeah. yeah. So your thoughts will lead you nowhere if you do nothing with them. Right. You know? But if your thoughts have no guidance... You're just impulsive. You, you just have, do a yeah. bunch of dumb You're shit. You're literally just, your thoughts have nowhere to be. Right. Nowhere, there's no direction. You yeah, know? they're everywhere. So you end Spastic. up. Spastic. Yeah, so you end up wasting time and all this kinds of shit. Right. You know? But if you actually have a purpose for what your thoughts should be revolving around your shit's focused at home. Yeah, so now you get to move forward. If yeah. now you're moving forward and then you move back and then you you're move forward place, again yeah. and then you move back and you're not moving anywhere. It's yeah. like fucking around playing chess, and you're like, oh, I don't know where to go. Got to go exactly. here. Got to go here. It's like, and you mainly, up, dude. yeah, and you mainly you don't know where to go hmm. because <laughs> you haven't decided where you wanted to go, which is your purpose. That too, or it could also be a lack of experience as well, like inexperienced. Right. right, but for the most part, your your thoughts will just scatter without purpose. Yeah, 
So you just have to be like, what do I want to be known for? And then you revolve your thoughts around that. And then if your thoughts revolve around that, your actions will revolve about, around that as well. Right. So everything corresponds to each other. It's like a domino effect. Right. So the first the first response you have to figure out is the spiritual aspect, mm-hmm. which is what the fuck is your purpose? What the fuck? What do you want to be known what, for? What do you want to What do you want to do, bro? What is your purpose? Like, what do be What do you want to be known for, you little motherfucking slut? <laughs> Like, figure it out. Motherfucking sluts. Here we go. As soon Super as you slut. figure that out, figure out what your purpose is. Then come tell us. No, I'm kidding. We don't care. Leave it down <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> but as soon as you figure that out, your thoughts will rely on that purpose. Mm-hmm. And then now you can act on those. And then you'll build momentum towards right. that aspect. So that's why most people that you see that are confident, their confident comes from clarity. You know? Yeah. There's fake confidence. Which can be faked, obviously. Right. When it's challenged. Right. But then the actual confidence that's unbreakable comes from just clarity. Clarity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you have clarity, you will act confident mm-hmm. naturally. You that's know? crazy. And true. But if you don't like, if you don't have the clarity, your confidence can be broken at any point. Because you're just acting. Yeah. You it's, know? Uh, yeah. Bravado at that point. Yeah. It's false bravado. You're just like, you're just making it look like you're confident because confident people look yeah. cool. Basically. Bro, it's crazy as shit. To uh, not to go off topic, but when you say shit with confidence, you could be dead fucking wrong. Bro. I do this at Best Buy all the fucking time, for real, bro. For real. It's the funniest shit ever, and I love doing it. Sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, this is not what you need, man. You need this one or like something like that. But, it's uh, it's fucking hilarious. I've been man. doing that because I always <laughs> talk when I'm talking about stuff that I like. Mm-hmm. I'm always talking about stuff that I understand, so right. I talk with confidence, mm-hmm. and then I add a little bullshit in there to see if they can catch it, <laughs> and they can never catch it. You're like, so, you're stupid. So, so I'm like, okay, I was lying about that part. Okay. Okay, I, was, okay. I was lying. Hold but on, hold on. That's not entirely true. I was true. trying to see how far I, I took it. So mm-hmm. you just believe in what I'm saying. How far would you, would I have gone where you believe me? You know, right. tell me. <laughs> and then I'm like, it's just cool. Google it if you really want to find out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You don't, don't go off what I'm saying. Right. Because if you're just believing what I'm saying, you're just, it's an assumption. It's a sheep. Yeah. Slave mind. So... Figure it out, okay? Figure your shit Figure out. Figure your shit out. Figure out your purpose. All right. And then your purpose will lead to good thoughts that mm-hmm. lie on that purpose. Which is cool. And then you will have actions to go towards that. Yes. And you'll be moving forward. That's the only way. If not, you're a bitch. And this all ties back to what we were talking about, the law of correspondence. As above, so below. Think, think strongly within your mind and act strongly throughout your body. Yes. Do that shit. So your behavior... You'll go far. Your behavior is a response mm-hmm. to your thoughts. Yes. And your thoughts are a response, are a response to your uh, purpose. Okay? Right. So figure out your purpose so you have cool thoughts. Sharpen your that thoughts. That go towards your purpose. You know. And then you don't have all you will do is look for behaviors yeah. that lead you towards that. So, you know what I'm saying? Sharpen your thoughts, polish your actions. Boom. You heard it here first. No more shit, dude. No Become more shit. Become clear. <laughs> Become clear on what you want to know, and your confidence will just come yeah. naturally. Andy Minio, Clarity. Check that song out. Cool as fuck. Bro. Motherfuckers. I love that song. All right. All and time. then here it says how to apply it. How do we apply that so shit, gonna, dude? Tell me. Read that. I don't fucking okay. know. Tell me. And it says applying this law is all about understanding your connection to the world around you and how you're showing up for yourself and the universe through, through your thoughts and subsequently your actions, which is what I was saying earlier. Right. When we have a firm grasp on how we're interacting with life and how it's affecting us, we can recognize and break patterns, live in alignment with our highest good, and feel harmonious with everything that there is. Okay? Okay. So, like, let's one example. Okay? You want to give one? You want to go first? You can go first if you already have it in mind. I guess. I do. So, go ahead. Um, temperament. Uh, I kind of apply this one, but it's it's not. I don't think it's the law of polarity. I think it's a, a different law. I think it's the law of neutralization. Doesn't that correspond with polarity? Yeah, that's how you neutralize a polar opposite. Okay, yeah, basically. All right, so it does coincide. So temperament. I have not temperament issues, but I have noticed that I have decreasing amounts of patience. And I think that's but... just because a lot of problems you solve in and out the day, your mind can only solve so many problems before it starts getting fucking irritated or brain uh activity just kind of decreases it's kind of like you know and then you get irritated you get irritable because you're like stop with the fucking problems i can't solve any more fucking problems you're just frustrated and that level of stress 
is what I'm trying to work on. So in that case, taking it back to the topic I was talking about before, um, I try to notice when I'm like irritated, agitated and getting overwhelmed. And then I try to like mentally, to, sometimes physically just take a deep breath and kind of like, you know, center myself and just be like, all right, it's getting hard. It's getting heated. Just like scroll with the punches, you know, but it's it's you like diving into that dissecting that you're using when you're taking a deep breath so you're being stressed to the point where you're like fucking ah and then you just take a deep fucking breath and then you're just like chilling and then you kind of get this little relief in your mind where you're like all right clarity that clarity you were talking about and then you kind of like deal with the the bullshit that you're going through right it's like a refocus of your energy exactly it's recentering of your energy so you're basically uh, talking about when you're dealing with a bunch of shit and then you're like, all right, this is getting a little too heated right now in my head. Yeah. Not and necessarily you're that you're getting heated or angry. Things are getting heated. But you're just like, this is getting stressful. You know? Very. But then you're like, you do a little thing where you're like, all right, calm down, dude. It's so both like, physical and mental. Break. Yeah, yeah, just take a little break and then come back to it. Yeah. So that makes sense. You can only do that so many times until you get agitated to where you're just like, fuck. But, right. you know. That's why breaks but yeah. are a thing, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, and that's like my mental, like like challenge for the day can you go through it can you go through the fire unscathed mentally or are you going to be a bitch about it that's basically my right. goal like I'm are you going to be it. complaining after this yeah. or are you going to just let exactly. your mind shut up about it exactly and right. and each time bro i find myself failing more and more just like i'm i'm like i'm tired i really oh, I, I just don't you. i just don't i feel like i've done it for so long that i don't want to do it anymore and that's some bitch mind thinking i right. need someone to like instill that fire within me and be like yo yes but stop letting the fact that, you know, others don't have that fire diminish your fire, bro. Keep oh, burning. Okay. You feel me? Right. So I'm like, keep burning your fire. That's all. That makes and sense. That, along with the temperament issue, though, because that's like, right, right, right. it's something I do want to get a hold of. I want to be able to not let anybody master my thoughts to the extent where my temperament is fucking solid. Right. You can insult me just like you, bro. I don't fuck know. you. <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be flipping you off at work. Good job, man. Real cool. Like, Real cool shit, you know? Just don't let it affect you. And it's yeah. funny as shit. And it's just so normal to you and others. It's so hard to do that. Right, yeah. Because like how you said before when we were talking about, they they get hung up on, on um, they get hung up on shit, you know? They get right. hung up on why it shouldn't be so hard, why it should be this easy, right. why is it like this? It's like, it's fucking life, bro. Right, it's gonna exactly. be that fucking hard. It's like, hey, Stop the, being a bitch about it, get over it. Yeah, you know? like most people get hung up on how it should be, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. But it's like, but it's not. It's not how it it's is, bro. It's not how it is, bro. It's like, come back to reality, sir. <laughs> We're here where we have to deal with idiots Delusional. and imbeciles. <laughs> you know? So there's all kinds of idiots and imbeciles. Right. You know? Imbeciles. Word of the day. Like a fucking... <laughs> so girl, he, he's like, he has a story where he's like, a guy came to me because mm-hmm. they're all volunteers. He has like millions of volunteers. And he's like, there's a guy that... He's like, dude, we have other people here that just fucking suck. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what he was telling the girl, basically. Yeah. It's like, these workers are lazy and they suck. Yeah. Type thing. And so girl is like, this is the people we got to work with, bro. Yeah, they're it's volunteers. It's yeah. like, bro, this is, this is real life. You mm-hmm. know, people suck. So it's like, either you talk to him and try to deal with it, or you come and tell the girl about it and he's going to tell you this. <laughs> you know? And it's like, deal with it. Deal you know with what I'm it. saying? You know what I'm fucking saying? It's not There's that big not a deal. much you can do mm-hmm. besides acknowledging, acknowledging them in that aspect mm-hmm. and telling to girl or go talk to the guy yeah. and be like, hey, bro. Don't be a dumb shit. I don't appreciate the fact that you're a lazy fuck. <laughs> you know? And at least he knows. It's like when somebody stinks, like literally yeah. smells. And like, then bro, your breath be kicking, my friend. Some shit. Sheesh. And then like, or just of body odor or whatever, you know? Yeah. And then nobody's telling them because they're like... That it's like, wrong it's too. fucked up. It's yeah. fucked up. But it's the fact of the matter is more fucked up to let him walk around smelling like shit. Yeah. What's more fucked up? You not fuck, <sighs> holding yourself back from telling them Dude, or it's funny you allowing say them to walk around yeah. smelling like shit. I can't say anything about this topic, bro. I am one of that motherfucker. So that's somebody, like, bro. I can't. I can't say anything, bro. I can't because I do the same. I'm like, and I'm, I'm like, not gonna speak on that. But that's funny that yeah. you say that. I'm like, bro, just tell the guy. Yeah. He doesn't know, bro. He's around his own if, smell all day. I know, day. but what if they've been told numerous times and they're like, they just don't care. 
and then they're just accepted. But you come that's to that fine. point. I know, but that's why you choose not to like tell them because they acknowledge that themselves. Like they're they're fine with that. If and they're there's fine not with much that, you can do not, with that. There's nothing you, know? you can do after and that. And there's only some people. That's not every case, but that's some it's motherfucking always, people. Yeah, that, you know what I'm saying? That does happen. It does happen. Trust me, it happens. I know it happens, I'm but like, fuck. <laughs> it's like fuck, man. You're that's a cool fine. guy, but you fucking smell. <laughs> yeah, like in the morning is like, how do you fix an idiot or a dumbass? You know? You and I was them. like, you just leave him alone. Yeah. Because no, I thought you wouldn't enlighten them. No, 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 no. Why Cause, not? Because they're not seeking that. You can only help those that are seeking it. You're right. If they're not, if they're an idiot and they're defending the idiotic, yeah. they're like, they're like, they're not ready to be. They're rude. like, yeah. hey, you call me a dumbass? It's like, yes, I did, bro. <laughs> yes, I did. It's because you're a fucking dumbass. You know. <laughs> And they're they're willing to defend funny. the fact that they're fucking dumb, <laughs> and that's you can't fix that. That was funny, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a sword, and they're like defending how dumb they are. They're right, like, right. they're like, Fuck I'm, I'm gonna leave you alone because I'm only gonna get hurt being here. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't work. It just doesn't. You know, bro. The level of secure, like, like the the. Your demeanor was impenetrable when you said, yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's I like, did. I'm sorry. Like, Holy shit. I'm sorry you're a fucking dumbass. <laughs> you know, but that tends to happen to a lot of people because they're insecure, <clears throat> you know? Right, right, right. But it's like, hey, dude, the problem is not that you're a dumbass. <laughs> the problem is that you're not acknowledging the fact that you are dumb <laughs> and unwilling to fix it, you know? Why does it sound so funny right now? No. This is what it is, man. I don't know. I think this is the way you, you say dumbass and, and like you just insinuate it. You, you fucking hey man, imbecile. Go out for comedy. You're making me the fucking laugh. Holy shit. I'll dog. try it. I'll try it. That's just uh, funny, bro. Anyway, like you can't, so yeah, you can't, idiot, you can't people, fix an idiot, right? Yeah, you can't help people that are unwilling to help themselves. Right, because they're know? fucking idiots. They're like a wall. You know? Yes, like you I know you cannot argue with a brick wall. Like, I can attest like, to that. Like people say, it's like you can bring a fucking idiot to the water, but if he's unwilling to drink the water, yeah, the what horse. are you gonna do? The horse, the horse you, is the idiot. What are you gonna do here? You know, <laughs> nothing against horses. Let him die. Idiots. That's what you're gonna do. <laughs> so from that aspect, it's like that. You know? Right, 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 right. But it's not much you can do about people like that. Yeah. So, so you gave your example about correspondence. You know. Yeah. Your temperament. Yeah. So it's like if you have. Your purpose there is to fix the temperament, you know? Rise above, basically. Yeah, so every time you acknowledge the fact that you're in that position of temperament, mm -hmm. like you have a bad temper yeah, because of particular whatever, then your thought catches you in that. And only it only catches you in that because you have a purpose of not being in the bad temper. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And therefore, you think... And your your thoughts catch you, and you're like, I don't want to be here. Yeah. So I'm gonna it's do like, this hey, particular, hey. yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna do this particular action to calm me down right now. Right. You know, because obviously, bad temper only yeah. leads to bad decisions. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So then, if you're chill out, now you're like, all right, we're back. You know. Right, right, right. And I was gonna say it goes back to that little voice too, because sometimes when you you tell yourself that, and then your temper is slipping, and then you, you your inner voice is like, hey, 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 I thought you said you weren't gonna do exactly. that shit. You know, and you and you, and you feel that mentally, and you're like. Fuck. I knew, you know I said right, that earlier. You, you, you made that You goal. said that. You, you made, made that, it. that goal. But yeah. in whatever's going on at that time, because I've dismissed it before, and I've been, and I've given no power, and I've been like, yeah, I don't give a fuck right now. And I'll be like, and that's a defeat. And you're fighting yourself. Yes. It's like legit... The good in you and the bad mm -hmm. in you are fighting each other. And you and I don't and I don't realize that when I'm doing that. Actually, right, the fact harder, that you say that, yeah. it's it's like yo, like you are legit fighting yourself at that right. point. Right. It's like it's like idiot. who are you gonna feed, bro? Mm -hmm. There's two wolves in you. There's the bad wolf and the good wolf. Who are you feeding? The dumb wolf. Yeah, no, that, the, one, <laughs> the, the one you pay attention to the most. Yeah. Is the one that's getting fed. You know what I'm right. saying? Because those little mind aspects are getting fed through attention. Yeah. You know? But once you establish this particular purpose of getting rid of the bad and going with the good, right. you can go towards it. But before then, it's just thinking it's normal. And there's nothing you can do about it. You know, right, right, it's just right. part of your habits and this is who I am you know what I'm saying but it's like that's no, not how it works it's and not because that's why yeah. you have the ability to make decisions mm -hmm. you know that's why you have that inner voice do you have right. that inner voice of course we're fucking geniuses and, and not geniuses but we're G's if you making. don't have the inner voice you're a fucking NPC and you're stuck in reality without a fucking soul in you there's nothing plain no. within you okay develop that fucking inner voice bro you know you fucking have one listen to that shit and then let it correspond with your gut as above so below don't motherfucker. Be a you know what i'm saying you fucking bot see what how, how i just how it just morphed in what we're talking about to, to the top of a conversation the, the voice in your head Bitch. with the trust in your gut 
that was pretty good. That I came up with that. Good. I came up with that. I came up with on the spot. That was pretty fucking good. Thanks. But yeah, in in a sense, which is cool. Yeah. So that so, was your example. My example mine. would be like health. You know, I seek health. Healthy mind, healthy body, kind of thing. Every uh, if you have a healthy body, your mind will be healthy as well. It's at least it will be much easier. You know, much easier. Mm-hmm. So how I I, I my purpose is to, my purpose is to seek health. You know, mm-hmm. and through that, I have thoughts that are like, so how? Yeah. How do you seek this health? So then I end up looking up stuff that are like, so what does vitamin D f- do for my body? Or like, what does uh, vitamin K do for my body? Right. Or like, AG1, let's go. Like, Sorry. type shit is like, <laughs> so why are all these people taking uh, athletic greens? You know, because it, it makes it because it makes it easy. It makes it easy to be healthy. So if you seek health, you will look for opportunities and your mind will go throughout your life looking for those opportunities for you to take action towards those healthy aspects. Right. All right. That's just another example, you know? Fucking dope shit. So purpose will be health. Right under it, your mental mm-hmm. will go towards, so what can I do? And then once you find those activities you can do, your behavior will go towards those activities. For example, mm. having great sleep. You know, if you have shitty sleep, you're never going to be as sharp as if you had great sleep, mm-hmm. you know? And then if you work out, you're never going to be as sharp as if you didn't, you know? It's simple. Right. But you have to develop habits. You know what I'm saying? Good habits. Time management. And as soon as you develop those habits, everything becomes smooth. Smooth you as know? fucking ice. Because imagine just working out without having to think about it. Yeah, I'm not there yet. That's yeah. amazing. You know, it's like, like, hey, right, this is the thing I do. It's yeah. the thing I do. Fucking you top know? G's like that every day, 45 minutes to an hour. I'm you like, just gotta Yo. do it. You just gotta do it. It's you part really of life. Do. It's like it's like taking a shit. You just gotta do it, bro. Hey, you man. Can't, can't help it. Put yourself in a state of what is it? Um, hypertrophy, I think. When you fatigue, and so your muscles can build, putting it to the yeah. limit. Build muscle. Yeah, build muscle. Build muscle because you lose muscle as rep, you get older. Rep to failure, yeah. So already Facts. start building up the muscle so that you rack up. <sighs> and don't. by the time you're fucking old, you're not a skinny little wrinkly old Decrepid man. Decrepit fucking shit. No. You want to be fucking capable, even as an old man. Right. So the law of correspondence lies on those aspects. There's, there's the bottom aspect, which you could call the physical plane. There's the second, yeah. there's the middle aspect, which is the mental plane. Mm-hmm. And there's the higher aspect, which is the spiritual. Ethereal plane. Right. Which yeah. is this what they call the higher self. Yeah. But the higher self sounds mystical and it's clouded. Just like. The, the, clarity, the little higher self is a sense of clarity, right? It's Well, the higher self is the, the universal aspect of your perspective. Isn't that like involving spirit? Huh? And isn't that right. involving but spirit? But you see, when you so... say spirit, it's like, what are we talking about? And Your fucking you... spirit energy, bro. Yeah, but fucking... that means nothing. That, <laughs> means... Kame, hame, ha, man. <laughs> that means nothing, you know? Right. When you say spirit, it means nothing. It's like, now I have to tell you what I mean. Mm-hmm. And then when I say higher self, it's like, what are you saying, bro? An ascended level of thinking, bro. Like, see, what but do that, you that means think nothing. That means... that means ascended level. What the fuck does that mean? That means... Like what we were saying earlier, how temperament don't fucking bother you, your ascended level of thinking, polarity, neutralization. I'm pissed. Let me be happy. Right. But that is an to... ascended kind of person where they're like that to a T and they don't even it doesn't even like occur to them to think twice about it. They just do all those kind of fucking things. That to me is an ascended person, bro. The, that right. level of thinking with good ass like um characteristics and, and habits good habits man that i believe is an, right. is an ascendant but i'd person. like to come up with words that are not tied to bullshit well, how's what what's what's tied to bullshit like as soon as you say ascended person right it's tied to being in heaven it's tied to fucking being that's all higher the interpretation is isn't it isn't of course it? of course but i'm telling you it's tied to that you're talking about the general interpretation of ascended yeah person. like if you tell 10 people about ascended people right well they're not gonna just think what you said Cause they're fucking idiots, bro. We're talking about uh, not, not, people can, are idiots. That's what man. I mean, though. That's what I mean. Okay. So you gotta talk in a in a, a clearer aspect. So you that mean dumb it ten, down? Not dumb it down. But like what do you mean? Because then? you're thinking yourself <laughs> as above them. Okay. Okay. Don't be condescending, fuck. Okay. So My if you only it's, it's on purpose, right? If you're doing it by accident, like you just did, right? <laughs> you know, like you're being condescending by accident, right? right, right but you can fuck. do it on purpose, you know, to make mm-hmm. fun of people. For the purpose of them acknowledging it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But like, like I like to think about it like instead of saying ascended view or whatever, I'll say the universal aspect. 
you know? See, okay. Because it's... It is isn't is worded differently, so it delivers a different it, interpretation. Right, it doesn't yeah. have this, I don't know what, stigma, what the fuck you want to call it behind it? Right, what is, what? <laughs> like what? Whatever the fuck. A bit, like behind ascension? That the word itself, ascension, uh-huh. what... What are we talking about when you say ascended? Well, to me, an ascended bro, yes. being, you know, yeah. Like, out of, if you tell that to ten people, they all have different interpretations of for course. that same word or same phrase. Yeah, if they're dumb, yeah, I'm gonna go to heaven. Yeah, I'm yeah, levitating. All shit, yeah, yeah like, all this shit is like, oh, I'm flying now. I'm you flying now. <laughs> but, then, but if you say the, the universal aspect, so and then you describe it in the sense that. In the same way that on planet Earth, there's up and down, and in the universe, there's no such thing. Mm-hmm. You know, as soon as you go to space, what's up and down? You know? Right. So if you look at the aspect of that, you get to see your world in a different way. But you still have to come down to Earth to work, to move around in actions. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm, I, must be, I must be dumb because I it's, can't. I I'm can't like, fucking... it's still clouded. What it's still fuck? clouded. You know what I'm saying? So no, you have I don't to come know what you're with... saying. What the fuck, bro? I'm, I'm struggling to try to interpret because I have a, a good grasp of what you're saying, but I'm failing to seriously interpret this. And please explain, elaborate a little bit further because I'm kind of dumb. It's just, <laughs> it's just views. It's different perspectives. Right. So, so what like... do you mean by universal aspect as opposed to ascended? Like, are you trying to like make it more general for people to yeah, like? Because I don't want it to be tied to religion or nothing. Okay. I just want it to be tied to physical plane realm like reality okay i don't want it to be tied to no like different dogmatic ideas they got all right that involve religion or like like, some other shit obviously ascension came from the type of religious aspect well ascension to me is different though but that's like we said that goes back to interpretation yeah it it had to come from from some religious script ascension yeah because you're rising above which is which is what it should be used as but people misinterpret it yeah, because you know? it could mean levitation. It could mean it could fucking be all kinds of weird, yeah. dumb shit. But then what I'm what I'm trying to do is clarify it to the point that it's just a thing that is normal and there's no misinterpretation left. Because that's my problem when I'm misinterpreted mm-hmm. or misunderstood. Where I said something and then I have to re-clarify what the fuck I just uh, said. Okay. You yeah. know? Yeah. It's like, what do you mean ascension? And then you tell them and they're like, the well, what do bro. you mean by that? It's like, are you fucking dumb? You get a dictionary, it, get a thesaurus, my like, friend. Figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah, you know? there you go. But I want to be that able to say it as clear as possible from the get-go. It's, I feel it. Maybe because my mind did skip a lot of things, bro. Like when you say because it, it did talk to you about religion, but it's like I don't really... I think of religion how I think of water. Water all can... It's like... Oceans, ponds, lakes, streams all contain water, but they all have different names. Kind of like right. same thing like religion. We're all talking about creation yeah. itself. Same fucking thing. But all contains you're, water. We're naming bro. a different shit. Yeah. yeah, all contains water. We've said this before. Yeah, like but, with, um, the, with the when I say the universal aspect, I'm mainly saying like look at yourself from the standpoint of the universe, like as you are a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. Because let's say your purpose. Mm-hmm. It's like what is your purpose in this life? Right, that is the higher version of yourself, mm-hmm. which the higher self is really the universal aspect. Like, what are you here to do? You know, and then the lowest aspect of that is you take an action on that particular aspect. You know, but when you say ascended, you're talking about you looking at yourself from that perspective. Right. But then you say ascended, and people are like, "You're talking about Jesus?" No, I'm talking about mentally ascended. You know, just, yeah, that's that. But that's what comes to mind. Just but ascended like, means that you're looking from above. You know, that's what that means. Ascend, ascending anything. As when somebody, yeah, when something they ascends, rise above, so they're enlightened. Right. They're rising, above, rising to the above the next plane. The next plane, because no. you're on plane one. So you're what's rising under above you? The plane two. What's the plane under I you? I thought we were on the physical plane, plane number one. There's we're nothing all, above. We're us. always on all three. Right, 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 right. So you're talking about there's another plane beneath us, beneath there's, the three. There's, or there's always, nothing. there's always, there's always lower planes. Holy shit! Because so... we're there's, we're in infinity. Right, right, always, right. In, you can always break it down. There's always more categories to be made. Okay. Because that's the way we understand stuff. Like the lower plane under us will be like animals. Mm. Without the consciousness. My, my, okay, so my my interpretation is going. My, I'm, I'm thinking of like of yourself. No, you're of thinking like, of human. 
thinking of like, okay, I'm no, I'm thinking of like purgatory and shit no, and like that's underworld not real. and like that's what, that's no, I know, real. I know that, but in le- in terms of levels of planes, like the fucking physical plane, and then if there's planes below us, my man, my mind went straight to like fucking purgatory than hell and all no, that shit. No, those are not like, real planes. Yes, I know that, but like that's where it went to. So I'm like, well, what the fuck levels? And then he broke it down to like animals and insects and fucking. Yeah, those are actual real planes. Right, those yeah. are fucking more definitive planes. Right, because the other ones you're making them up. Like, Holy they might be shit, real man. in your mind, but they're not real in the physical plane. That's crazy. So as soon as it's not real in one plane, you're lying. Somebody made that shit up to make you think particular thoughts. Mm-hmm. Like when they say, like I was telling you the other day, reincarnation. Like, have you ever experienced reincarnation? No. No. Heard so about that it. means that it could be real. But it also means that it could not because you haven't experienced it, you know? So then you got to think about it. So why did anybody come up with this idea of reincarnation? And then you keep hearing about reincarnation and they're like, if you don't do the right thing, you're going to reincarnate back into this life until you get it right. Mm -hmm. And all that really gives you is the idea that if you don't live your best life, you're going to be reincarnated in this planet until you get it right. Right. So they're basically telling you, live your best life now because you don't know. If you're going to just keep coming back, you know? Right. Is that not the way of things? <laughs> no. They're lying to you so that you make the correct choices from now. Yeah. It's like when somebody instills, instills the fear of God. Right, right, right. I understand that, but why, though? Because they don't think you know better. They, they think that you're going to slack off, like most people do. Mm-hmm. Or you're going to make bad decisions. But like what do they have to do. gain from that? Uh, bringing the planet to a higher sense of prosperity. So now you're moving the whole human aspect, whether it's through fear or through faith. It doesn't matter. They don't care as long as we're all moving forward. Like, I could tell you have faith in God, you know? And make sure you make the best decisions so you work towards what God is trying to give you, you know? So you have the best of your life, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Or I can tell you, you're going to fucking hell if you do bad shit. Right. So do good shit. Right. It's the same kind of aspect. <laughs> but I'm it's just very... trying to get you to make good decisions. Right. You know? So well, some people do it. Some people think that, like, there's godless people that make fucking horrible decisions. So you're basically instilling morals in people, yes. basically, yeah. to not be an asshole. Yeah, but sometimes you got to do it through fear and sometimes you got to do it through faith. Right. The idiots get to be instilled that through fear. What's the point of this, though? Like, I get why they're doing it, but what do they have to gain from, like, instilling They have us to with deal with fear, less fucking you know? bullshit. So what? They want to achieve a more utopic society? Is that what they're doing? That's the goal. Well, we can't do that with a bunch of idiots. But I see, we, I see your struggle. Exactly, exactly. I see your struggle. So, like, in the Abrahamic story, he's like, let's instill some fear into God and tell him that there was a fucking wicked city somewhere that got destroyed by God, you know? Lightning And strike. then you're like, well, if I do wicked shit, mm-hmm. I guess God going to come through and fuck me up. So, no. Right. So, that's one way to make people not be fucking horrible shit. Like just fear, yes. You can instill fear, the fear of God and people specifically, mm-hmm. and they're like, I guess if I do anything bad, I'm going to fucking hell or I'm gonna fucking die all of a sudden. Right, right, right. Which makes you like, oh, I need to be careful and make good decisions. Or, or you can go through the positive aspect of that and have faith. You know that everything's gonna work out well. You know, but then that leaves you in this obscure sense that you think God is doing everything for you. Mm-hmm. You know, and then you end up being naive and all this shit. So it's a little balance of both, you know. So that's why you got to be fear of having bad health, but also have faith that everything will be well. Because if not, you're just going to be fucking on one or the other. And one is going to make you just, I can eat sugar and do whatever I fucking want, but God will fix it. And you're you're a dumbass. You're still a dumbass. So in a sense, you need balance on yes. top of. Um... You got to be scared that you're going to die, mm-hmm. but you got to have faith. That everything's gonna be well. Balance of fear and stability. A yeah. little bit. And that's Interesting. that's even the law of polarity does that for you. Like if you're like if you, the polar opposite of faith is fear. Yeah. So if you have fear, you go towards the faith aspect and it makes you brave. You know? Because mm-hmm. you're like, God is looking out for us. This yeah. is for a reason. It's like just because you're scared doesn't mean you don't take action or nothing. Because mm-hmm. you have to still move forth. Therefore, you need to have faith to move forward, which what makes you brave. Right, 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 right. No, but if that. you're just in fear mode, you're a bitch. Don't be a bitch. 
You can't be a bitch, dude. That's why we fuck? call bitches bitches, cause because they're fat bitches. No, it's not just that. Bitches. They're just bitches. <laughs> but like if you're a little, if you're a little scared all the time, you're always scared, and you don't take action just for that sole reason. Mm-hmm. Now it's because you don't have faith that it might go well. You know, so you're scared. You know, but it's okay to be be in fear, because this is how we were built through survival. That's crazy. Because if you don't have fear, guess what? You're the idiot that gets eaten by the lion. Don't be that guy, you know? Fuck. Master your fears. Yeah, but as, like, Balance your that's fears a good example. A like, bit. let's like, say there's a lion chasing after you. Mm-hmm. Good chances you're fucked, right? Yeah, but... Very high chances. Yeah, logical sense says it tells you to run. An idiot will be like, hey, look, it's a big cat. Let's go give it a hug. And then, boom, gets right. fucking eaten. But Whoa. in that aspect of fear and faith, right? So there's a lion coming after you. Yeah. Yes, you're scared. Yes. But you can't just be scared and be like, fuck it, I'm done. That makes you a bitch, mm-hmm. you know? But if there's the lion chasing after you, and you can be like, I'm going to try my fucking damn hardest to outrun this to out- fucking get the fuck out of here and do yeah. something to stay alive. Yeah. That's that's you having faith in yourself. Right. That you might be able to get out of this bad situation. But if you just stick to the fear side, there's no bravery there. Yeah. You're just a scared little bitch. Fear makes you ball up. Fear yeah. makes no action. You, no action means no... You have lost hope. Yeah, you know? no hope. And then no life, which means you are dead. Which means you're, you're basically walking dead, yeah. yeah. Zombie. Fucking you're dumbass fucking zombie. dead guy. Well, that's interesting. So in that aspect, every that's time crazy, you acknowledge man. fear in yourself, you have to acknowledge the faith in you that makes right. you brave. So you can be like, yes, it's bad now. But how, how good could it really get? Yeah. If I actually get over this fucking hurdle or whatever the fuck. Use your fucking mind, bro. You know, and your mind, that's what allows you to do that. Right. You can be like, yes, I'm scared right now, but who cares? You go through it and something good will come out of it. That's faith. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, enough about correspondence. Holy shit. Uh, I'm still fucking trying to brain, I'm trying, my brain's trying to fucking turn the cogs on like the. The universal aspect. So know, it's the, the the universal aspect is just the the spirit. Yeah. The spiritual, not spirit. Because spirit is within you. Right. The spiritual but we're talking sense. About is are you, the spiritual aspect. Are you looking at yourself through an omniscient point of view? Or are you yes. kind of like... Yes. Because the spirit... So you're releasing your, your, your mind from your body in a sense. And you're kind of yes. like... You just be like, well, well, ascended? Isn't that the time you when you use that. the word ascended? That's what, that's what you use. That's that, your word that you right. use for that. You okay. So, I use spiritual because it works for me. Okay. But there's a lot of misunderstandings behind that word. Yeah, because it could lead to So uh, with other people, I wouldn't use it because I have dumb. to fucking... <laughs> I have to legit explain myself, you know? Right, right, right. Because it'd be like spiritual fuck. Mm-hmm. Like shut the fuck up! You, shut the fuck up! We not, know what we're talking about. Not a have to bit. explain to you why I'm, I said that particular word. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay, so universal. That's good. I understand. I see now because I was struggling to fucking like comprehend that. I was like legit, like trying to make that fucking work, and I couldn't grasp it for the life of me. And I'm yeah. like, what the I fuck are you talking clear about? about it. But yeah. that was kind of the point of the conversation. They yeah. were trying to make <laughs> something clear. Trying to avoid. You know? Yeah. How so, ironic. Good huh? example. Good example. Good, good. We got that out of the way. But yes, so a wise one. That is cool as shit. Spiritual. I wouldn't use that with other people. No. Mainly for the fact that they'll have a misunderstanding of what I'm going to say and mm-hmm. they'll shut themselves off because he's a spiritual fuck <laughs> talking about random shit that no one gives shit about. Right. You know? Spiritual fuck. So I will talk about the universal aspect so they're more open minded about it instead of just saying spiritual and they're like, this motherfucker, he's fucking, he probably has a crystal under his bed or something. <laughs> you know, which doesn't help because then they shut it off. Right. You know? All right, that's that example. That's but it's mainly weird. the spiritual aspect is the best example is purpose. Mental is the the fucking thoughts that lie behind that purpose. Mm. And then physical is the actions that get applied through the thought process that you have because of your purpose. And those are the three physical planes. Not physical planes because physical, but the three planes that we mainly arrive from. You can go beyond that. You know? Purpose. Mental thoughts, action. Right. And so the spirit level is, or I'm sorry, the universal level is purpose. Yes. Because of universal purpose. Is that like, what are you going to do with your life? The mental thoughts of that trigger the actions which right. rely on the physical. Right. right. I am an idiot no longer. Good thoughts. <laughs> Good thoughts right there. Hey, man, this, this podcast is all about like one enlightened and one dumbass becoming more enlightened. 
Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. You're just... learning from the dumbass. You know, <laughs> like it's this a, is how idiots think. Here you go. This, this, this is what we got here. Going. It's a <laughs> way to. It's a way to try to like. I can make sure that I'm clear with what mm. I'm saying, and know how I can tell others. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I can see how others might misconstrue that. Yeah, and be like, "Yo, that be could like, be wait, this, I mean, what did you just say? Dude? Exactly. And so. I'm like, "Well, that's not what I meant. I know I'm not being clear, but let's work this yeah. out." Yeah, you yeah. Know? That was good. That was good. But uh, what's the what's the next law about? Because uh, we covered. Piss, hold on. I need a break. Piss, piss break. Law piss. correspondence. Oh, this is my favorite part, dog. Narration time. Oh shit, my phone could die. Could die? Let's charge it, Dad! <clears throat> oh, I actually need a water break. Do you want some Gatorade, my guy? No, I, I have a Gatorade. Like it's not that much sugar, dog. It really is. It's 41. <laughs> it's not that much sugar, 41. Uh, per, con per container. <laughs> Dang, they did me dirty. 48 grams, which is 96%. Jesus, 96% is added sugars, bro. Holy fuck. Fuck, I'm still gonna drink it. <laughs> I just know. Don't get sugary fucking drinks. It's too bad I like them. Anyway. If I could not be so mean at times you know that'd be great to find myself being a little bit more in temperamental so like i said i'm trying to work on that hope that works out balance when i think of cool shit i think of the moon like when i want to just relax i think of the fucking moon bro a full moon it's beautiful have you guys ever seen, I'm sure you have, but have you guys ever like truly seen a beautiful ass full moon on a beautiful ass night with a beautiful ass girl in your bed, man? That shit is beautiful. I guess that's why I correlate that with the moon, but it's cool as fuck, man. I love the moon. I love the full moon. I love chilling with people on a full moon. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like sometimes I look up at the sky like, fuck, it's a full moon. Ain't nobody coming through. It's like, ah, shit, you know? It happens. It happens to the best of us. But uh, love full moons, man. I feel like in Japanese culture when they say, like, hey, the moon is beautiful, it's like another interpretation of I love you, you know, in a cool-ass sense. Because uh, even in Demon Slayer, bro, um, Tomiyoka and Shinobu were fucking on a mission and uh, they were looking at the moon. She was like, yo, isn't the moon lovely? And I was like, yo, she said she loves him, dude. No one else got it. I got it. A lot of people got it, actually. I saw it from a YouTube short. So shout out to the guy who ever made that YouTube short. But I thought that was fucking cool. Anyway, fucking love the moon. I think about it when I try to calm down and shit. It's a very cool fucking thing. Oh, hey, look. Oh, hello, goodbye. Yeah, the guy. Hey, what do you think about when you try to calm down? I just told the camera I think about the moon. Full ass beautiful moon. How about you? Bitches. Right. <laughs> it's funny you say that. Um, I'm like, it's worth you it. You know why. It's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it. So you think of bitches when you try to calm down and relax? Really? Mainly, mainly titties. <laughs> I'm like, it's worth it. This stress is worth it. <laughs> you gotta make it worth it that's somehow. That's cool, bro. I'm sorry. Like, I'm a guy. Fuck? I'm sorry. Like, Maybe that's, a big that's really Imagine. It, imagine. Imagine it's that's simple. funny. I know it's simple, it but easy. I have a moon. I have something like you know, it's cool as shit. I Looks think about beautiful beauty. at night. Beautiful woman, think about specifically. beautiful ass titties, bro. <laughs> Calm down, bro. Just imagine going through it, just thinking of some so, like beautiful uh, ass imagine titties, my bro. Face with some nice titties, fuck. Very calming. That's you may be onto something. <laughs> <laughs> you might be onto something. But all right. this stress shall be worth it. Right, something. Move all a right. little bit forth. So you're kind of more in the camera. Yeah. Is it? Is am I literally that far back? You're not that far back, but you know. Just want to be up in there. You don't want to be outside the frame either. Yeah, which is fucked. Let me put this right under your chair. Good. I doing shit. Don't be moving. Don't be fucking moving, okay? All right. Uh, what's, yes. what's the view safe? I don't really have to calm down that much. Yeah, I know you're very calm. Let individual. me let me think. The, it's I'm the opposite. I need more to fire up. 
You know, you're I'm always the perfect, fired up. I'm the perfect guy for that. You're like always fired up, and I'm like, he, this guy needs to calm the fuck down. <laughs> and for me, I'm too calm. You know what it is? That's why you say I say stuff nonchalantly. Yeah. I'm like, what do you want me to say? Like a fucking maniac? For real, bro. Like, sometimes you just be talking, and you just be like, yeah, unless you're stupid. And then I just totally calm as fuck. Other people would be like, whoa, bro, did you just call me stupid? Whoa, bro, whoa. I'd be it's like, like nah. I'd be like, I'm not going to call you stupid and say, you're a fucking idiot. You're a dumb motherfucker. Because then you're going to come at me with that energy, and I don't, I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. Energy, okay? Bro. Ain't nobody got time You deal with that. your own trauma, yeah. you fucking imbecile. Fucking guy. All right. <sighs> cool I'm shit. sorry if you're an imbecile, but you can fix it, okay? But yeah. Just like if you're a fucking fat fuck. I was going to say, really quick before we out. start this, um, fucking self-hypnosis, bro. Andrew Tate was talking about it. He was talking about, like, the more you kind of, You're finally like, coming back to that? I'm self-hypnosis. I've talked to you about this before, and you ignored me, probably. Until uh, probably. Top G says it. <laughs> probably, Top G man. says it, and all of a sudden, John, you want to hear it? No, man. Like, uh, what were you gonna say? I've that? always known it was true, but jeez, man. You, you made it... Your interpretations, man, you make it sound like something it's not, you know? But no, nah, it is it is factually accurate. You probably were telling me about it, and I probably was dismissive That's about it. That's happened a couple time. times. It's happened a couple times. My apologies. I have anyway. to, I've happened to repeat myself five times to you, and then you're like, really? what did he say? Oh, my God, ask And I'm like... Told you this five months ago, now. <laughs> dude. You gotta remember. I can't remember shit, and the things I do remember is very selective. It just anyway. wasn't, yeah, it just wasn't useful it wasn't. information at the moment. Yeah, exactly. You know? And I, or I didn't retain it. I'm but stupid. What about anyway, self hypnosis, cool as fuck. Just yes. like, just up yourself with the energy, kind of like pump yourself up. I, I, you know, I'm not afraid to seem like a moron. You know, it's just like I'm okay just with shouting, yeah. talking to yourself, hyping yeah, yourself yeah, you're up. You're fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> you're weird, man. I'm fucking cool, bro. I think I'm really cool. Like, no, I'm not a cool. I'm not that fucking cool. But I really think I'm cool sometimes, man. In the morning, you're just like, man, no one else is awake doing the shit that we are besides other dudes in our profession. But there are other guys doing more shit, and it's like, yes. whoa. We have an edge on these idiots, but also these motherfuckers right. have an edge on us. So let's go catch up to these fools. Right, and I'm right, like, right. what can I do today to drive? You know, what can I do today to like get me fucking going? And it's right. just that drive, the inspiration, bro. Sometimes I don't have that, and I wake up fucking dead, and I need to, and I need to get myself going because right. we're moving, we're moving, we're moving all the time. And if I'm sluggish, I'll be like, fuck, grease these gears. Fire the fuck up, more. light up your muscles, ignite, and start fucking moving. There's like that's what I do. That. Well, Andrew Huberman specifically, he's like, you fix your mental with your physical, okay? Mm -hmm. So with your with your body, you fix your mind. So, for example, when you're in that state where you're feeling sluggish, mm -hmm. you can do breath work. <clears throat> specifically, the one where you go, <sighs> and then that will release adrenaline and shit. And you'll feel like doing work. You know, but before then, maybe you didn't. But as soon as you do that, you, you just breathe in and out hella fast and you're going to fucking, it's going to drop out cortisol, dopamine, adrenaline, and you're going to feel like doing shit. You're going to be like, let's fucking go. You know? hmm, interesting. Yeah. And you can do the opposite of calm down. So he basically said- Breathe slower. Yeah. Yeah. Emphasize on breathing in. Yeah, breathing, Physiological side. Yeah. Yeah. Either one, he's like emphasizing on either exhaling or Inhaling mm -hmm. brings you to different states. Yeah, I think that inhaling brings you to the higher. It increases to to get you know pumped. Yeah, and then the exhaling is to calm down, relaxes. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, hey, dude, you know these little things fixes your life. It really does. Like he also does that thing where you're talking about temperament, mm -hmm. and what he does that. What does he say, bro? He Tell doesn't me. say. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't. He's not a, a, a heated, psychologist. Uh, he's or not what a heated mean? guy. You know? Oh, yeah. He's not the type of guy that just gets heated, like, for no reason, you know? That's interesting to me. Maybe I have something wrong with me. Anyway. You're just not there yet, you know? you ha It's not a thing that you've been like, I need to chill. You know, you probably recently came down to the fact that it's not necessarily the best thing to do when that happens, you know? And he basically puts it in a state, in a sense that sometimes you're doing a bunch of work, and then the work becomes a little stressful, you know? Mm -hmm. So he takes a break, which he calls a non-sleep depressed which all he does is either from like 10 to 30 minutes, he lays it down and just relaxes. Just nothing. Literally does nothing, just chills. And if he comes out of that, he feels restful and ready to fucking go 
whatever and sex, mm-hmm. you know, which is kind of what you're talking about. Yeah. But he legit lays down, closes his eyes, doesn't fall asleep. He just takes it to the next level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he's like, this is the best way to do it. How are you going to calm down? Yeah. Close your eyes and don't move your body. If only that worked in it our profession, work. bro. It, it, in I mean, our profession. you can't do it while you're working. You know what you're I'm working. saying? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know? But, like, but if you're taking like a half, you can go to your car and just lay there for 10 that's minutes. That's true. I used to do that. I, I don't. That. I fucking shave. Yeah, anyway. But yeah, I yeah, feel like it. Yeah, if you just went there in the car, just put some meditation music or whatever calming music you like, you know, and just fucking just lay there for, 10, <laughs> just lay there for 10 minutes. Maybe you'll look like a word. Who cares? True. Nah, people understand, man. People in the cars, they understand. But me, I'd be the motherfucker playing uh, Bodies by Drowning Pool. Let the body yeah. sit up. Yeah, so, yeah. so you haven't... <laughs> You haven't brought your, your calm level anywhere. Yeah. So you're just, still like, let's fuck it up. Yeah, I'm like yeah. intense, man. Just be intense until you don't have to be intense anymore nah, and then rest. I like I like chilling. I live, I live my life. I live my life intense as fuck. But see, that's probably that's probably why, dog. That's how you end up burnt up. That's dude. how you burn yourself. But I, I always out. knew this, but it's also, it's a balance between like drive, drive, drive. Because you can be so driven to where... Whatever you're doing has no effect on your fatigue. Like you're like, fuck it, I'll do this. I'll I'll right. be ready for sleep. I'll do that. No fucking shit. Right, right, right. And you're like, you're a G for that. Right. But in a sense, you find yourself slipping because the shit you do catch up with, and it's like perspective. It's like, fuck, man, this shit's really catching up to me, man. Like I'm trying my hardest to be, you know, mentally that's, driven and that's focused. Like but mental like, stress, fuck, though. that's know? mental stress. Like, it's I mental can, fatigue. Yeah. Like for me, physical stress is nothing. I'm like, whatever, dude. Mm-hmm. I could do whatever. You watch me sweat, and I'll be like, does it matter if I'm sweating? No. Mm-hmm. No. This is normal. People yeah. sweat. Exactly. And same thing with my mind. Is it stressful? Who cares? Yeah. I don't care. Like, you care probably about your own stress in your mind. I'm like, but do I care? No, it's part of life, you know? So, who cares? Right. Like, it's not doing anything for you if you can hung up on the fact that you're stressed out, you know? Mm-hmm. So, you just be like, hey, dude, this is part of life. It is hard. But it's probably because you're learning something new. Every time, mostly, is the time. You know? I don't think about that. I just think people suck anyway. People do suck. But, you know, you can put them in their place. Yeah. Sometimes. Not all the time. I would just change your profession entirely. You can do that, yeah, For <laughs> sure. You can be like, all right, fuck this place. Just fuck this place, bro. Fuck this shit. I'm out. All right. Yeah. So, first, we talked about... The last podcast, we talked about law of mentalism or the principle of mentalism. Right now, we just covered the correspondence, correspondence. aspect of the second principle, which is the law of or principle of correspondence. And now we're going to talk about the principle of vibration. <laughs> which is vibration, the... For me, for me, this one is a little obscure... This is interesting to me, too. Because it's a little obscure because I'm like, vibration has a lot of misunderstandings to it. Because it's, yeah. it's a vibe, dude. You know, you got a, you got a nice vibe to yeah. you, dude. Like, shut the fuck up. Shut what does that mean? Vibe. Your vibrations are on a frequency that are chill, dude. You have good like, vibes, dude. You know? <laughs> right, right, right. No, but in, in, a, in a sense, I think we should put the framework around the, the vibration aspect into, like, physics. You know, just but hey... Use physics, put this right. in a phys- physics type setting where you're thinking of, you know, physics and law, of this and that, because it does. It goes into a lot of physics and it, and it goes to a lot of vibration of, of what scientists have been discovering, but it's been known for I don't know how long. Like, right. people says, figured it out. Yeah. yeah. People but it's it now a long time ago. A yeah. long time ago, and it's being rediscovered and re. Through science. Yeah. Reaffirmed, affirmed. It's just right. being made factual. Yeah, again. You know? It's not an opinion no more. Yeah, exactly. It's not something that is truth. It's fact. It's it's yeah. it's a fucking fact. It's, it's not hypothesis. Yeah. It's fucking fact. It's anyway. when something turns from a truth to a fact. Yeah, you know? but I miss... I One, I kind of always knew it. I heard about it, but I just... It's one of the things you just take for granted, you know? Right. And then when like, I heard normal. it again... When I heard it again, bro, I was like, yo, I totally forgot about that. Because I knew it, and I thought, that's fucking crazy, man. Like, you know, things are vibrating, molecules vibrate. The more they vibrate, the the faster they move, and all right. such and that. And then the lower they vibrate, the less they move. And, the, you know, and the, even with temperatures and shit, higher vibrations, hotter, lower vibrations, uh, colder. And we all learned that shit in science, basically, at least I fucking did. But I failed to realize just how much of that is true in, like, fucking table the tv the this microphone our right. shirts yeah. everything we ourselves are vibrating yes, to a to everything. a degree but to us we we feel like we're standing perfectly fucking still right like we're not vibrating right now but we are which we is are, crazy yeah. to me so yeah. that's the main problem though because we're what is it called when you're relating it to who, who you are 
you know so since you are vibrating in a certain aspect right mm -hmm. now everything that's around you it's you're comparing it you're com you co yeah, yeah you're comparing it to yourself yeah. yeah so you're like so you're vibrating in this aspect <clears throat> and the only way you truly acknowledge when something is vibrating is when it's beyond it you know right. but everything around you is part of you so it's vibrating around the same way that you're vibrating or closely enough for you to never acknowledge it you know but then you could look at other shit that is either moving way slower or way faster, uh -huh. you know? But then all that is normal to us for the most part. Mm -hmm. You know what's not normal? The shit that's cool about the vibration shit is when, like, say you're a fan. To us, if you watch the blades, it's, like, moving fucking so fast, but the blade looks like one solid black fan that's just moving. Like, well, we see it, but we don't see, see it. The blade. Exactly, yeah. you can't see it. So to us, it looks like it's standing still. It looks like a little piece of plastic, black, just right. standing still. But it's moving so fast that to us, it looks still, but yeah, to you that, try to put your that's just fucking... It, it'll hit you, yeah. you know what I'm fucking saying? Like, apparently so. there's fucking saw blades that go, like, down mm -hmm. and up, like that. And then... The lights are always flashing on and off. Like this light is always flashing on and off, but so fast that it's be beyond the our capability for eyes to see. So in some places there's lights like the carpenters use. Mm -hmm. They are specialized for them. Because if they were using normal lights, they'll move at the same same speed that the fucking uh, saw is moving, and the saw will be moving, and it looks like it's still. Oh shit! So they'll think it's off. Yeah. Like they hear the machine is going, but it doesn't look like it's moving. That's cool. Because it's at the same sink as, <laughs> yeah, the light. as the light, so they could easily fuck their hand up. Yeah. So they have to you use specialized. Yeah. yeah. They have to use specialized <clears throat> lights that are moving either slower or faster, so they can see the blade moving. Oh, okay, that makes fucking sense. Yeah, because now it looks like it's in. Yeah, still. yeah, I see that. Like, like fast strobe lights because then you yeah. can see the there's like a little break in the d d d d yeah d like d even if you yeah the yeah. only thing that's really fast is the sun so even if you slow it down it's still bright there's no in that in that in that i know? fail i fail to comprehend how you can fuck with the sun on that level you can't enlighten me it's very hard so. you can't like the what i'm saying is that like let's say if you go in a room mm -hmm. that the sun doesn't reach you know okay if you turn on that light and then you you record yourself if you slow the camera enough down, like the actual video, you will see that it's flickering. Yeah. Yeah. But outside with the sun, you can't. Right. Because the sun is moving way faster than your camera will ever be able to slow down. That's trippy. Yeah. So that's why when you take a picture or when you like record something on your monitor, you'll see a difference right, in yeah. the like the picture. It's pretty weird. Because it's like, yeah, that's, that's cool. Weird. But that explains that though. That's crazy. I didn't know that. It I learned works. something new today, motherfuckers. But the the principle of vibration, what they say in the Kabbalion is nothing rests, everything moves, and everything vibrates. You know? And they're like Again, trippy. Right. And then right under they're like, Yes, believe it. Believe it or not, the idea of vibes, which what we just said, the vibes, the vibes, vibes man, has Fucking been around yes. for a long, long time. Pardon me. Anyways, yes, believe it or not, the idea of vibes has been around for a long, long time. The principle of vibration states that all things, both physical matter and spiritual energy, hold a certain vibration. Mm -hmm. Basic science tells us that atoms are con in constant motion, as the universe itself. Even our hearts, as they beat, give off different vibrations depending on our emotional state. And when we're vibing high, we're able to avoid low-level frequencies that don't serve us, you know? And then, uh, and then okay. they say, how do you apply it? We'll see if they make sense. It says, this will look different for everybody, but to apply this third principle, you want to not only do things, but think thoughts that allow you to be in a state of ease, where your body is vibrating at a more positive level. Applying the first two principles can help you start to do this. You might be noticing all these principles are deeply interwoven. They really are. Within this principle, we acknowledge that we have the power to control our vibration rather than our vibration controlling us. You know? So... That's cool. That's like neutralization mixed with fucking polarity that mixed are. with fucking what we're talking about, the vibration right now, dog. That's yes. crazy. So basically how I see it, which is it's easier tied to polarity, mm -hmm. which is you have this polar opposites, right? And vibration means it's tied to rhythm also as well mm -hmm. because it's moving up and down. Mm -hmm. But like let's say you have fear and faith, you know? 
you're always moving back and forth, which that's what vibration implies. Yeah. You're always moving in between those two polar opposites. Mm -hmm. But you could be lower over here towards the fear aspect and vibrating here, mm -hmm. or you could be moving back and forth over here, you know? Yeah. So it's like you want to be moving back and forth over here. Instead of fear, you want to be have the vibration of faith, right. you know? Which still has the vibration of fear, but it's implied in a different way. Yeah, you know? the degree is a lot less. Right, compared to... High levels of faith, you know yeah, what I'm which yeah, degree which is a lot more, which will imply bravery in fear based decisions or whatever. No, I'm fucking saying, dude. So, so what do you think about that vibration? <sighs> vibration, shit. Vibration, what comes to mind is fucking uh, shit, man. Well, immediately, without knowing anything about the laws of vibration, I think of fucking uh, massage guns. I think of fucking because they fucking vibrate, do a lot of cool shit, you know. Yep, yep. And then uh, yep, yep, yep. the vibrations are transferred into your muscle, you know, fucking smoothing them out. Hopefully, hopefully not fucking you up. But um, before that, man, I didn't really think about the vibration of shit. You know, I just thought vibration was like a, a fucking a nuisance in a sense because your phone vibrates in your pocket, <laughs> fucking annoying. Some vibrates like you ever had fucking work on your teeth or they fucking drill into your teeth and your teeth vibrates. It hurts your fucking tooth, bro. That shit fucking hurts. So like in those aspects, I've equated it to like pain or like, you know, some bullshit. But right. in this aspect, which is fucking far more enlightening, so I think. It's mainly whoa. mental, yeah. yeah. It's the mental aspect of vibration. It talks about th uh, temperature. It talks about fucking um, the matter that we know. Just, you know, uh, hot or cold, a uh, faster movement, faster, slower. You know, things vibrating faster are obviously going to move faster. Things vibrating slower are going to move slower. I, I hope I'm on the right track still. Well, but, um, well, how can you imply the principle of vibration to your mind? That's mainly what they speak of. Because back in the day, they didn't have the acknowledgement of vibrating objects mm -hmm. besides the ones that they could sense. That's crazy. You know, so they didn't know that atoms were vibrating or that heat or cold was a vibrational aspect. I would say meditation, probably. But, but they always tied it to mind. So right. it's like, how do you think that back in the day, they gave this principle... To your mind that like your mind has a vibrating aspect to it like how i told you it has a vibrating means that it's oscillating back and forward at mm -hmm. all times yeah. you know so you're always going up and you're always going down but which is rhythm tied to rhythm right but then rhythm is yeah that is that it's kind of hard to move it really is it, it move rhythm the principle of rhythm out of the fucking principle of vibration vibration yeah or polarity because they tie into each it, other yeah. like to vibrate you need one end and the other and fucking the rhythm back and forth back and forth back and forth right. you know what i'm saying so i could see why we're having fucking trouble with this but that's why i'm I don't, always like this fucking this one's like fucking confusing i don't know man um i guess the only thing i could equate to vibration you could use in your actual life would be to like meditate or like calm the mind in a sense because we're in we've you've heard the motherfucker go oh right, right, right. you know what i'm saying so like it's kind of like a that vibration that you're creating with your voice is like is reverberating through your body and centering your kind of mind in a little in, in a sense if you can if you have the the mindset to do that but it's i think of a vibration coming from within meaning like self-soothing you know using your vibrations i think okay i think of vibrations as music and in a sense that music you use whether it be from fucking yourself your voice could be vibrations from the trees could be vibrations from the birds could be vibrations from everything i equate that to sound and sound is, sound a, is, is appealing yeah. to the ear and so that's that's i guess what i would equate that to yeah but right you now know. right now i was also reading because i asked the chat gpt shot <laughs> The, the AI. fucking AI, dude. About, let's call about, it. Let's call it Chib. <laughs> but I was, I was, I was asked to like explain the mm. principle of vibration from the Kabbalion, you know. Yeah. And apparently, it does state that the whole universe is in vibrational states, so that everything is in motion. So somehow they're implying what we are finding out now through science, which is like, how, you know. What the AIs? ARs are finding no, out what? what do no, you mean? the Kabbalion was implying that everything is in motion. Mm -hmm. But how would they know that? You know? That's a good fucking question. That's crazy. 
That's fucking like what is Molo- what the like fuck? who studied the molecule? Who studied the atom? Because that's that? where that's you know? what you would you would learn that from. But right? that was the... after that was way before the Cabellian. I mean that that the studying with science of atoms and shit was, was done after. way after. Yeah. So how the how fuck, the fuck? Do they know? <laughs> Which uh, is fucking ridiculous. Science has peaked. I, I, that's a topic for another day, my friend. That should how be. How the fuck? How the fuck? I'm just fucking like wait a minute. Where did that come from? How the fuck Tell me, do you please. know, huh? You little motherfucker. Little motherfucker. Her mistress magistus, how did you know that? How did you know that, you thrice great motherfucker? You thrice great <laughs> fuck. It's pretty crazy. We're uh, very crazy. I'm going to look it up again. Uh-huh. Let's see what the fuck this bot says, but... Yeah. Again? You can keep elaborating, yeah. I was going to say, again, shout out to the Cabalion, man, for being a fucking somewhat, like, educational like spark for me man that's fucking cool talks about cool shit like mentalism all is mind fucking polarity positive and negative up and down left and right all kinds of cool shit vibration fucking a little buzz and shit fucking that's cool your heartbeat oh no that's we're gonna be talking about rhythm next but i'm gonna incorporate the heartbeat heartbeat's got a rhythm you know what i'm fucking saying we all have a rhythm music has rhythm Fucking love music. Yes, sir. Talk about shit, the, you know, loving music. This guy really loves music. He makes music. Fucking love this guy, dude. Cool shit. I do. I do. Love the songs, music. too, dude. Keep at it. Jamming. Are we dreaming? Are we dreaming? <laughs> I fucking love it. All right. So right here, it says, according to the Cabalion, the principle mm. of vibration is related to the concept of duality. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> I've been telling you about the other... He looked at me for a reason. I'd be talking about that shit all the fucking says, time. Which holds everything in the universe has an opposite or complementary aspect, which is mm. polarity. Yeah. For example, light and darkness, hot and cold, and positive and negative are all dualities that are defined in relation to one another. Mm-hmm. The principle of vibration suggests that these dualities are not fixed. So what you can't just mean? be in one place. Hey, what about dry ice? I was going to actually bring that up. Well, dry, dry ice, ice is always melting. Okay, but doesn't it, like, burn in a sense? Yeah, doesn't but... Doesn't that shit burn and then, like, it's also ice, so it burns and it's cool? That's so not what I... You... It's not burning you. It's just so cold that it feels like it hurts. Oh, so it's an extreme it's cold. It's so cold that your that hand is burns. freezing on the spot. Yeah. Which hurts, like it's so hot. the sensitivity. Would that be the 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 the, the law of polarity? Or would you when no. you have an extreme cold and you and it feels like you're you're burning? So like no, what they imply there is like when you say dry eyes, right? Yeah, dry eyes is the shit that's always looks like it's smoking. Yeah, exactly. But, but it's only smoking because it's condensing. You know, it's going from a solid thing. Condensing means this, yes. Oh, the opposite. It's evaporating. Evaporating. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Condensing but, means this evaporation. Yeah, okay, like, so it's evaporating. It's that's imp- why it's smoking. Yeah, what it's, what it's implying with what they said, duality aspects, yeah. is that since it's cold, it's always moving hot, you know? Which yeah. makes it evaporate, Right. you know? Because the and air it, around it is hot. It's yeah. sort of the environment that the ice cold right. is in is making it And hot everything that's right. hot is always getting cold. Right. If it's too hot, it's getting cooled down. If it's too cold, it's always getting, getting heated, heated up. up. Yeah. yeah. And that's what that's implied by the law of vibration and the okay. duality aspect with polarity and shit. I thought that would tie in with the sensitivity with it being burning hot versus it being hella ice cold, you but, know, feeling the burning versus it being super ice cold. I thought that would be a good duality thing, but I guess not. <laughs> Do you have a better one? <laughs> Come on, there has to be something like with duality that we're missing, you know? Well, duality is just two aspects to the same thing, like light and darkness. Yeah. Like there, there's always, there's always dark. If there wasn't dark, there wouldn't be light. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So there's, if there's darkness, there's, there's, there could be light okay. shed into that. And if there's light, you could always take away the light, and there'll be dark. I guess that's a good one. You can't get rid of it. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing with hot and cold. Like yes, it's cold. But as soon as it's cold, it has a chance to be hot. And then if it's hot, it has a chance to be cold. That's crazy. And they're always moving in between each other. Mm-hmm. But if you apply more energy or take away energy, it goes and shifts it to the degrees one. change. Yeah. 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 And then, but Holy rather, shit. the principle of vibration suggests that dualities are not fixed, but rather they are in a state of constant movement and change, which then comes the law of 
rhythm, rhythm, you know, because of that reason. And it says the Kabbalion also teaches that principle of vibration can be used to understand and manipulate the world around us. How the fuck is that? Enlighten me, please, because I know nothing. It says by understanding the vibrations of different substances and energies, we can learn to control and manipulate them to create desired effects. This principle is often associated with the principle of magic. I oh, know, not principle. Alchemy? This principle is often associated with the practice of magic in oh. the manipulation of energy in spiritual and metaphysical practices. Okay. Overall, oh, hold on, hold on. You can't breeze past that. You can't <laughs> breeze past that. So Elaborate they, further, I don't know bro. What the fuck they say? <laughs> This principle... Uh, Are you I'll, saying I'll, I'll magic you, is real? <laughs> well, magic is real, but not in the way most people think. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, you're going to have to elaborate on that because that's cool as fuck. Yeah, most people, it's like alchemy is real, mm. but they're not talking about making lead into gold. Right. Because that's what's tied to alchemy. But when they're talking about they're talking about mental states. It's like lead being your broke motherfucker that bushing, and gold being enlightened. Mm-hmm. You know, so you can turn coal into gold in that aspect. You could also turn coal into gold or lead into gold as the elements themselves, but it takes a lot of energy. vibration, right? Yeah. You have to. No, you just have to fuse. It's or... fusion. Oh. You have to fuse uh, protons, neutrons into the lead to the point that you add enough to make it into gold. It's dense as fuck, turns into gold. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. You can, but, like, waste of energy. Waste of energy. And then, overall, Divert the principle... To <laughs> <laughs> overall, the principle of vibration is a central concept in the philosophy of Hermeticism and the Kabbalion. And this is just that everything in the universe is a constant state of motion and change. Holy fuck. So everything is always changing. You could always get worse, but you could also always get better. Always get better, you know? man. So that that's what that implies, really. Oh, let's talk. Let's talk about highs and peaks. Let's talk about that. That's uh, that's your prime, you know. Fucking during the age line, the linear age line, you grow up, you get to a certain height, and then even at that point, you're still somewhat maturing, and then you reach your physical prime, which is for us, depending on your genetics, would be like around thirty to thirty-five. Could for be a around man. there for a man, ideally, generally, and then Hopefully. you start your age. <laughs> like you say, it starts to decline. Right. You know, your body shrinks. You get shorter. You get fatter. You know, it's hard to stay in shape unless you're fucking Alexis aging in reverse, slowly but surely. Immortality. You know, <laughs> but that's that's a good way to look at that. You know, like uh, what what goes up must come down. Right. What that's is in your prime right must get old. Yeah. You know, like um. As soon as you reach shit. your peak. You, that's when you start you start falling. to decline yeah. yep and as soon as you hit your bottom mm-hmm. that's when you start going going down. back to the top well, oh man i love that that's yeah. cool i'll talk about that another time but that's, that's cool as that's fuck. what they always say as soon as you hit your bottom that's when you start going up going up man it's like when you bottom all the way down when your life is at its worst trailer park for me bro yeah that's when you, when you start bottom. going out dude. yes sir I'm glad I got that to a young age though. You know, because we've been going Imagine nowhere but up. Going there when you're like 50, you're like, yeah, fuck! bro, that's depressing, and exactly. you'll the, that'll probably claim your life, man. That's yeah. that legit depressing. That's fun, dude. The hopelessness that came from that place, man. Mainly because you were a kid, because you couldn't be like, I'm leaving. Exactly. Which was, is the problem. for me, it was everything I knew, man. But uh, I knew it could. I, I guess I always knew that we were meant for much more than the things we're surrounded by now. So I'm like, you have to. It's a balance between appreciating them and then. Like like you said with the fear, you know, fear drives you a little bit, but the faith keeps you like strong. And then with this yeah, one, like it could get better, dude. Yeah, it's like you have the the hope that it gets better, but also the fear, the fear drives you to not be a piece of shit. Right, you know? it's and hard then, to balance those things. And then there's this guy, Garber Matez, something like that. He's a doctor. Mm-hmm. Talks about talks about trauma and uh, the ability to cope with particular things. And he's like, when you're a child, you develop coping mechanisms that lead you to have those habits come later when you're an adult. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you're a kid that's dealing with a lot of bullshit, specifically as an infant or a toddler, there's nothing you can do. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're having to go through a lot of stress while that's happening, you tune out, which makes you create the, the coping mechanism of not doing anything. Mainly just tuning out. Sloth. Like, just just, just shelling up. I yeah, don't want to do nothing. Just, just like yeah. Ignoring it mm-hmm. as much as you can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And not taking action towards it. You know? But, the, but then you have to eventually fix that. 
Because if, if you stay in that coping mechanism, you're going to just not do anything about anything stressful that's going to you. You know what you're I'm just saying? gonna clam up. You're gonna be like, stressful? Fuck. Yeah, it's like, just drop like a turtle show. Just ignoring it, yeah. Just ignoring it, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that makes from a, if you have parents that are always fighting, you know, that's nothing much you can do besides ignore. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then that creates that coping mechanism of just going ignoring within it. you and just thinking happy thoughts mm-hmm. within your head type That's shit. crazy. I but never then, did that, but that was cool. Yeah, yeah but then I as you, that. as you, if you have like a healthy, uh, surroundings when you're a child then you will lead you will go towards action based coping mechanisms you know which will imply that gym fucking it's stuff that sports. will allow you to change yeah, yeah. gym sports because one fucking... is just avoidance and one is change mm-hmm. you know action based and he's like you gotta move from one to the other because if not you're gonna be stuck your whole life doing nothing about it right. you know what I'm saying and those are the people that it's like it's hard you mm-hmm. know and they they used to get stuck on that part. The fact that it's hard, and they're like, "Well, I guess it's hard." Dude, and it's hard to quit. Ch- yeah, and you can't change it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it that it's this. This should be easier. And then, <laughs> and yeah, and then exactly, like exactly like that. It's like it should be easier. And it's mm-hmm. like, but it's not, bitch. Shut the fuck up. It's not. Yeah, it separates then, the boys from the men. Get to it. But then you you gotta go from that aspect and switch to the action based on which is like it's hard. Mm-hmm. It is, but you have to do something about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you take action, it'll get easier. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't take action, it only gets harder. It only gets harder. Yeah. So that's that's a good thing that he was saying. He was like, bro, that's why I'm blowing. You know? Yeah. Let me see where we're at. Fucking, I'm, dude, I'm not falling asleep. You know what? Oh, it's, you're falling asleep, it's, it's, buddy. The, it's the coffee, oh, bro. Already, so. It's the coffee. Oh, you're running out of caffeine? But I've, I fucking didn't drink. Right when I woke up, I waited the ninety minutes, did and you? I'm still. I did, cause we didn't. Cause oh yeah, I drank coffee before you. Did. You did, and I, I made my coffee legit after you. So and so you I need woke to be up. talking more, dude. All right. <clears throat> anyway, All I right, need to be that... talking fucking more. All right. So tell me, what's the next thing that we're talking about? The next about? topic. I Wait. need to answer my phone. I'm sorry. These fucking guys do are it, bothering do it, me. Do it. Sorry. We got ten minutes. Fuck. I'm about to. Hit. Country, yeah. Giggity giggity. Alright, holy shit. It's already almost four, dude. Good Damn. shit, good shit. Alright, so I need to talk That's about good. some shit. So and now we're here at the, lo- the principle of polarity. polarity. I'm just going to read a little paragraph about the Kabbalion. Paragraph. And then you just riff. Fucking go. Just riff off it, dog. Let's fucking go, All dude. Right? Tell me. All right. Everything is dual, okay? Everything has poles. North pole, south pole, everything. Everything has its pair of opposites. Like and, un- like and unlike are the same. Opposites are identical in nature. Love and but hate. different in degree. Love and hate. Hot and cold. Extremes True or meet. False. Extremes meet. All truths are but half truths. Mm-hmm. All paradoxes may be reconciled. This the motherfucking Kabbalion. shit, bro. That, bro. Quote it again. Quote it again. Quote it again. The Kabbalion. The Kabbalion. Holy shit, dog. Cause you one, have to say that every time. Yeah. It? You the have Kabbalion. to. Because who's talking about it? The Kabbalion. Fucking Kabbalion. Fucking Kabbalion, bro. So every all, all things are but half truths. There's two sides to every coin. Quarter. Heads and tails, bro. Bitch. Fucking polarity. Like how it says, fucking everything is dual, right? Fucking same coin, two sides. Two Let's sides. Let's fucking go. Lies, truth, two sides. Everyone's got a fucking their version and their version, but then there's the fucking truth of what actually happened, bro. Right. Some may argue there's three sides to the coin. I don't give a fuck. It's what really fucking happened anyway. <laughs> but <laughs> but um but that's 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 what comes to mind immediately. Immediately. You know what I'm fucking talking about? And okay. then 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 there's hot and cold, you know. Fucking freezing his shit, you know, freezing your titties off, and then hot as cold, sweating your balls off. You know what I'm fucking saying? Disgusting, but it's it happens. Ew. <laughs> fucking, and then uh, light and darkness. Can't see shit to the brightest fuck, you know? Bane. I didn't see the light until I was already a man, but then it was nothing to me but blinding. So, yes. it would be blinding, you know, in a sense. Yes, yes. So, dual shit. Left and right, right. hot or cold, heads or tails, coin, coin, (laughs) true or false, true and false, true or false, you know, 
um that's that's my life <laughs> you know that's my life experience from all that shit um what what do you think bro what what can you're you gonna fall asleep again that? but i'm gonna let it i'm gonna let no, it happen no, 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 no. <laughs> just 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 quick just real quick and then hand it back to me because right, i so got the ball we're talking about the polarity aspects we're just talking about the ability to have both sides in the same world because without both sides we can't have the world you know what i'm saying Yin and Yang, bro. Yeah, so you can't have the dark without the light. Because oh, the dark implies that there's light, my friend. Right, 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 right. Sometimes darkness can show you the light. Disturbed. Let's go. If you're a bitch, that means that you cannot be a bitch. Because the fact that you're being a bitch implies that there's a possibility of you getting rid of that. So don't be a bitch. So make your choice. That, bro. Just don't make your choice. Make the choice to not be a bitch. Basically. <laughs> That's all that it's implied. It's, we're there's, implying that too. We're in a world of duality where there's there's the the opposite as, aspects of everything. You know, there's hairy fucks, there's non hairy fucks, there's dumb fucks, <laughs> there's not so dumb fucks. <laughs> but it's always a choice. It's Besides, always a choice. Some things are not choices. Yeah, like being choose, hairy. <laughs> yeah, I can't help that. Sorry, dude. I but can't help. I it choose either. to not be a dumb fuck, which is why I'm open to listening to other viewpoints and right. willing to learn. It's the same thing shit. with me. I was a dumb fuck until I was like, I don't like it. I don't like being a dumb fuck. Let's talk to some cool people. Not See cool. if you're a dumb fuck too. You're not a dumb fuck. All right, cool. Yeah, what do you think about like, this? Hey, you know? tell me more. Tell me more, dog. Like, I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only person who thought of this. You right. can clearly think about this shit too. All right, cool. But this know? is mainly implied through the mental aspects. <sighs> so every time we talk about every principle is mainly a mental aspects. Okay? Most definitely. So it's like love and hate is mental aspects. I fucking hate you. But that stems from the love you want to express them, but right. you can't, so you fucking hate them. Yeah, because love implies hate. Yeah, you can't hate somebody you Without don't love never them. loved. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, what I'm I can. I never loved Kim, but I can't fucking stand her. <laughs> that's not hate, though, is it? That's not true. Oh, hate. That, no, that, that's an, no, that's an extreme dislike. Actually, but that's what not that hate. implies is that there's a there's a there's there's a possibility of loving. You know? Really? Not necessarily like. Mm, right. <laughs> but I so said like, like camaraderie, kind of exactly. like a friendship there's kind a, of thing. Okay, that makes sense. Just because you hate somebody doesn't mean you'll never be able to love them. Right. But it has the implication that you will be capable of doing so. Right. You know. And then the so that's same why way. my hate isn't as actually as extreme because there's no fucking love to be there. It's not. Right. It's only like a, a really like extreme dislike, but that's that's only generated right. from someone like on a friendship level, not really on like. A, like when you, you say you saying? hate somebody, you're mainly implying that they could do better, and that's the loving aspect of that. Yeah, you know? that's facts. That's all it is. Deep you know? deep down. Because you saw how it took me to, like, you know, come to terms with that, too. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Ultimately, yes, you come you know? to terms with that. Absolutely. But it's like, that's the hope, you know? That, mm -hmm. that you're like, yeah, you suck. But you could do better, dude. Yeah. But there's there's way to portray that, you know what I'm saying? But you mainly hate them because they're unwilling, you know? But you see their potential. But they can't but they, they just don't, you know? So that's that. And polarity and those aspects are that. You know Can't hate or appreciate, you know? Right. Like, hate and appreciation. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, they're kind of implied, you know? If you don't get enough appreciation, you start to fucking hate. You know? You can't. It's hard. It's hard, you know? <laughs> but there's, the cold implies the hot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because since there's cold, the implications of hot are within that phrase. You know right. what I'm saying? As soon as you say cold, that means that there's a level of heat. You know what I'm That's saying? That's not fucking there. As soon, yeah, as soon as you say dark, there's a level of light. That's not fucking there. Yeah. So it's just that aspect. So we cover that. Fucking polarity. Yeah. Polarity is much easier to understand. Yeah. Than vibration. A quarter. Fucking vibration is a bitch. Fucking dude. vibration is a bitch, bro. But it says here, how do you apply vibration aspects? You know, Was it, it vibration says, or are we talking no, about I mean polarity? Polarity. Yeah. Applying the principle of polarity takes a degree of mental stamina and involves shifting the way you look at something, potentially completed on its head. Neutralization, we talked about this. Yeah, Potentially complete, completely on its head. Take the hate you feel for someone, which I didn't even know they were going to say this, but they're saying it. Yep. <laughs> Take the hate you feel for someone, for example, and time a, any time a lower vibrational emotion brings you down, you can recognize it and feel it and transmute it into its higher form. All right, all right. It takes a lot of swallowing of pride to do that, though. Yeah. If you if you want to do all that, like I'd imagine putting myself in that position, I'd have to swallow a lot of pride. 
And pride yeah. is the root of all evil. It's one of the seven deadly sins, Satan. bro. We talked about that. We I talked about that. Yeah. Yeah, Satan. Satan. Shout out, shout out Satan for being a prideful fuck. Yeah. You know? Fuck that guy. Anyway. Cool guy. Cool guy. He's just he thinks little, he's a cool guy. He's a I don't. Prideful. I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm not a, a fan, fucking bro. fan. He's, he's a, a fan. cool guy. I'm not. Shout out Satan, dog. Nah. He said, you know what, God? You kind of shit at your job. I could do a better job. That's horrible. Which is fucking dope. You it's know, he thinks shit, he's better, but obviously he can't create yeah. anything without God's help. That's why he got kicked out of fucking shit, dude. That's why he got cast like out. The, the Allegedly. Be, the best shit is that, like, there was a, a science joke that I don't remember where I heard, but there's a scientist that said, hey, God, we don't need you anymore, God. We can do what you can do. We can create matter out of thin air. Mm -hmm. But he's like, God came through and was like, well, create the universe, bitch. Create the universe first. Because <laughs> you're working off my creation. Mm -hmm. So. How can you? You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> you know? So that's implied in that you're way. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Lucifer tried to do the exact same thing that that joke is implying, you know? Yeah. The but, he Lucifer was a scientist thinking he could do a better sense, shit. In a sense, he's like, I'm better than God. And God was like, bitch, I created you. You can't do shit. Just How are you going to do something more than me? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's like, create yourself and then figure it out, bitch. You're like, can't do it, bitch. Can't fucking do it, yo. Got to shut the cool fuck shit. up about it. Cool shit. All right, we're going to the next law. Which is cause and effect, is it not? Is yeah. The, wait, no, rhythm. Did we not discuss rhythm? No, we moved to polarity. And then Damn. we were talking about vibration. Damn, sorry. We can we save this last three. Way. We can save these last three for the next one. Yeah. What, what is it? Cause and effect, gender. It's rhythm, rhythm, cause and effect, and gender. Yeah. That's so. fine. All right. So for now, we went. What's some parting words of wisdom you have? So last last podcast, we did the Kabbalion, which is what's mentalism for the most aspect. Today, we went to the other four laws, four laws which was? It was polar no. correspondence. Correspondence. <laughs> and then? Correspondence. By Vibration, polarity. I think so. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, because the first one was mentalism, correspondence. and then correspondence, and vibration, then vibration, and then polarity. And then polarity. So and then we have three lines. Yeah. So it was first we did mentalism, and then we did correspondence, and then we did vibration, and then polarity, and then on the next podcast, hopefully we talk about rhythm, uh, cause and effect, and gender, and we should be good. All right. Seven. I so, thought I was losing track, but no, we're not. And hopefully so, we don't talk shit about people so we don't have to erase those parts. Yeah, fuck those people anyway. I don't care. <laughs> I'll if you send it to me, I'll fucking edit this shit I'll out. I'll leave it in. <laughs> so they so they fucking fix themselves. Yeah. Fix yourself. Please. Please, please. I don't we're give a fuck if you to, do. We're but. not trying to be offensive here. We're just trying to talk with our minds being what you called? When when you're like being offensive. <laughs> no, we don't care about offending you. We're just trying to talk in the most open way possible. I have no filter. I'm horrible. Yeah, at this. without I'm, filtering each job, other. You yeah. know, sometimes we might say some offensive <laughs> stuff that is offensive to you. Especially me. But we don't know you, bitch. Exactly. Okay? So we're just talking and you're being offended and it's you, okay? Yeah. We're not offending you. You're don't offending you yourself with our words. There's no intention of offending you with our words. Okay? And if I'm offending you, well, fuck. If it's it. direct, <laughs> then hey, take it up with John because exactly. I'm not trying to do this. No fucks it's given, him, bro. Right? No fucks given. <laughs> so have a good day. <laughs> All right. Alright. Yeah. What is that? What? Sounds like a gunshot. Or a, la or a laser blast. Laser blast.